Well, that's called a major 2-5-1 progression. Then there's the other half of it, which is a minor 2-5-1 progression. Uh, just like music of the Baroque period, I mentioned J.S. Bach, um, that we have ma major keys and we have minor keys. So how do we improvise in a minor key? Well, the same thing applies. The chords might look just a little different, but there are two chords, five chords, and one chord. So, if we saw that same um, G minor 7 chord uh, with a flat 5, it might be called, it might look like a G minor uh, 7 flat 5, or it might look like a G with a circle and a slash through it. That's called a half diminished chord. <clears throat> that is also a 2 chord, but it's a 2 chord of a minor key. And in this case, G minor, um, minor 7 flat 5, would be a two chord, not of an F major, but of F minor. So I would see that G minor 7 flat 5, or G half diminished, and improvise in the key of F minor. Uh, you have a choice there of natural minor or harmonic minor. I think uh, as uh, trumpet players you should, know, or whatever instrument you play, because this video is not just for trumpet players, um, you might want to uh, learn your major and minor keys. I think all you, if you're studying privately, uh, your teachers probably recommend that highly, and or your band directors, um, uh, whether you're in high school or college. So it is very important to know your major and minor keys, um, not just when you play jazz, but when you play any kind of music, uh, you should know your key signatures. So um, if we see G minor seven flat five or G half diminished, <clears throat> that's a two chord, just like G minor would be a two chord, but G minor is a two chord of major, and G minor 7 flat 5 is a two chord of minor. Same thing when you see the dominant chord following this minor 7 chord with a flat 5, C7, uh, it could look various ways. <clears throat> it could look like C7 flat 9 or C7 augmented. There's many ways that the C7 could look. Uh, but when it follows the two chord, which is out of minor, the five chord will also be out of minor. So when you see C7 following G minor 7 flat 5, that's uh, um, a five chord of F minor as well. Uh, in this case, not F major, because it follows the two chord, which is out of minor. So, uh, and the same thing if we're modulating, let's say, to uh, A minor, uh, the key of A minor. Uh, we see before it the two chord, the on ramp to get to A minor, and the two chord would not look like B minor seven, uh, B minor seven, like it did in A major, but it would look like B minor seven flat five or B half diminished, to circle with a slash to it. That is a, gi a dead giveaway that it is a two chord of a minor key. <clears throat> so we wouldn't be modulating in A major; we would be modulating in A minor, either natural minor or harmonic minor. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to speak about the natural and harmonic minor scales right now because you could get those anywhere. You could just Google it and find the notes or just ask your teacher <coughs> excuse me, uh, what those notes are. Um, and then the... Um, uh, yeah, just a question. <coughs> about um, earlier you said when you see a minor 7 chord, you always treat that as a 2 of the key. Mm -hmm, yes. Right? And just now you said when you see the, the minor 2-5, you play the, like that minor key, say E minor 7 flat 5 going to A7 flat 9, mm -hmm. that would be, the E was the, the 2 chord of D, right? So you would D play minor. D minor. Right. But I'm a little bit... Um, confused, or I would have been confused, you know, long back, because typically after that A7 flat 9 chord, there's going to be a D minor chord, right? Usually. So here for the, for the E minor 7 flat 5 and the A7 flat 9, you're playing in the key of D minor. Yes. But then you actually get to the D minor, and you don't play in D minor anymore, now you switch to key of C. Right. D minor is right. The two of right. Yeah. During the, uh, the on-ramp thing I've been talking about, E half diminished, or E minor 7 flat 5, A7 flat 9, if you will, is the on-ramp to the key of D minor. Once you're on the, the D minor freeway, as it were, now you're heading in a new direction. 
remember what I said earlier in the video is that a minor chord is a two chord. So now you see D minor, and now you treat that as a two chord of the key of C. Go back one step. So uh, this is where a lot of uh, beginning uh, soloists uh, get on the wrong freeway. Uh, because they see a D minor chord, or any chord, and they think that's a scale. A D minor chord is not a D minor scale. A chord and a scale are two different things most of the time, especially when you see minor and dominant. When you see a major chord, then that is a one chord. So yes, when you see a D minor chord, you treat that as a two chord of the key of C, not a one chord of D minor.